Hi everyone, it's day 30, a whole month. I cannot believe it, it actually went by really, really quickly. Um, and today I marvel at um, universal timing. It's helped me many, many times before. There is something of, of a dance that, I, that I'm experiencing between the habitual need to perform, uh, create, accomplish, um, produce, and a kind of a dance with life, a kind of a co-creative dance where there is a release and surrender and allowing to to flow and just, you know, without pushing, allowing the universe to kind of guide me. It's extremely challenging. It's extremely challenging for me who was raised, you know, as everyone else in a kind of system where it's all about productivity and fear of laziness and where workaholism is, you know, uh, celebrated. Um, and, and yet every time I allow myself not to push, every time I allow myself to give to give space to something that I'm even trying to create, I'm, I'm confronted with that that was a wise choice. So even yesterday, it was something I was working on all day with my assistant to, to make it come out last night, to just, you know, push it out the door last night, comes like this, it's like done, finished, accomplished, produced. And I'm, you know, I can pat myself on the on the back. And then there were some technical difficulties, and and we didn't send it out, and we didn't publish it, and um, and then something else happened last night, which had me rethink the whole dynamic of what we're creating. And today we're, we've done something completely different. So it's just a very interesting dance that I am learning to navigate in life between the the action which is the masculine energy you know action purpose creation and the feminine flow intuition surrender um allowing allowing the process to complete allowing the maturation to happen, allowing spaciousness so that the ideas get more refined, so that um, what needs to happen, what needs to be born is, is given the time to be completed so that it's born according to what is, you know, what it is. And today just felt Another, it seemed like another one of those um, examples of how, how delicate this dance is between creation and action and the habitual way of like pushing and producing and, um, and then also that ability to trust that all in good time that you know everything that needs to happen will happen as it should and uh you know i'm 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 looking at this dynamic now even with my business because i'm trying to run my business in that kind of a dance between masculine and feminine energies and i've already talked about it so everything that i've produced from my articles to my posts to my programs it all was birthed through me a very much a process of co-creation with life you know there was nothing that i could push it was nothing that i could push there I, I realized that i cannot be creative by order or on command or for a specific deadline i mean i i i, I could if i really really wanted to but i tried to really allow that kind of spaciousness it's not easy at all because um, 
my inner perfectionist kicks in and my, you know, my habitual need to achieve and overachieve and push and deliver and, you know, it, it almost feels good, right, when we accomplish stuff, but, but also allowing to, allowing to just trust that the right timing will feel you know everything will be done when it's supposed to when it's completed when when the idea has formulated itself just so um and it's interesting because there is a lot of uh, there is a lot of um talk of the fact that in the future you know in the future we're stepping into the unknown i feel that what is happening now, what is being created through all of us is this evolutionary journey. We're really breaking out of old ways of doing things, the way we work, the way we um, do relationships, the way we relate with life. Um, it's so, it's so different than what we've been inherited, than what we've inherited. And it requires enormous amount of courage and trust because the unknown is uncomfortable and and all of us you know with with our developmental traumas and relating traumas we need security we need certainty we need to know we need to see where we are going you know we we, we use that that kind of knowing the outcome as the security blanket and yet what we're being invited to create going forward is something that hasn't been done before. So if it hasn't been done before, then all of us are kind of invited to surrender to that trust and that inner guidance, believing that what needs to happen will happen and that we don't, you know, that we, we need to learn to live with a certain degree of discomfort, a certain degree of not knowing, a certain degree of uncertainty, trusting that what needs to happen, what needs to be born through us, will be born through us. And, um, you know, in my life, it's, it's been translated into my work in the world and how it all started with, with my crisis, you know, almost 10 years ago where I couldn't understand what's going on and, and where it'll bring me. I, I was afraid to believe and yet I believed because there was something that was opening up in me. Um, you know, my, my old identity kind of was ripped off and, and what emerged was the true me. And I didn't even realize that I came here with certain purpose and certain gifts and certain messages and so the last 10 years have been just an incredible revelation that life is not at all what i was trained for and that the identity behind which i was hiding for most of my life because that's how i was raised because that's how i was conditioned was just a mask a fake mask uh, uh, and not, it wasn't really me I was just satisfying a conditioned um, kind of uh, the almost theatrical, like a role that I needed to play to hide the real me until that real me was ready to emerge. And so I now see so many of us going through a similar process where life is forcing that, life is taking away the familiar structures whether on the level of our relationships or um, in terms of our careers or just the sort of our relationship with security at large and and we're being invited and of course we resist right we resist we, we fear what's happening we fear we suffer through the seeming loss and we and we're so, so scared of that unraveling of the familiar ways of being and familiar ways of living. And yet what, what I see happening is that all of us are being invited to step into our essence, a more authentic way of being, understand what our gifts are 
and what we're here to bring forth. And it's very different from what we've been conditioned for. And even the way we do relationships is very, very different. And we're invited to discard our masks and to really step into our authenticity and reveal who we are and then create our careers, relationships, you know, lives from that um, unmasked sense of self. It's very complicated. It's very, it's very disrupting. But I feel that most of us don't really have a choice anymore. This is what we're invited to, to do now is to, you know, whether we do it voluntarily or not, if we don't do it voluntarily, then life co-creates series of crises that take away our familiar structures, things that we've relied on so we could continue being on autopilot. And we just can no longer do that. We can no longer be on autopilot. We're really, really invited and forced in some ways to understand who we are and step into our gifts and power to create something completely, completely, completely different with our lives, with our relationships, with our gifts. So excited. When I'm not scared, I'm actually excited. Sometimes I still, you know, sometimes I'm like everyone else. I'm still kind of fearful because it takes a lot of courage and a lot of trust. And though, although I've cultivated so much trust that I'm not alone, that I'm guided. And there is so much evidence now that I'm guided and I'm supported the whole way, every step of the way. There is still that, you know, fear sometimes and worry. And um, it almost feels irresponsible, you know, to not worry. So I, I work a lot on that. How can I feel responsible through not worrying? How can I feel self-responsible through trusting of my inner guide rather than relying and trusting the worry and the fear? That's what's so big these days is to redefine, you know, what is responsibility and allow all of us to be guided from within. All right, everyone, let me know how you are um, living with this disruptive, very disruptive time. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow.